Guys, so this video is going to be a little more serious, but it's something that, you know, like we thought would be beneficial because I've been getting a lot of questions on especially like my endometriosis, the cysts, and the birth control. So it... It's a question I think like a lot of people yeah. can kind of benefit from and you guys kind of chime in and give your opinion because a lot of people have kind of gone through it and stuff like that and you know your comment and your experience can you know help a lot and like we've kind of shared the journey that we've been going on through like since the beginning right so we'll, mm -hmm. like we're gonna keep being transparent and open and keep sharing with you guys and the reason why we share too is because we've got a lot of dms of people how like our journey is kind of helping them get through things as well that a lot of people mm -hmm. are going through the similar things right mm -hmm. so this person here messaged us and we thought we'd share it with you guys and kind of chime in like Mm -hmm. NACA's experience, our experience together mm -hmm. and you guys can let us know of your experience because I know a lot yeah. of people have gone through and like it does help a lot of people, right? Yeah, so they said, hey guys, NACA, I know you said you were going to take the birth control and I'm not sure if you're comfortable talking about how it's affecting you because I have endometriosis as well and the birth control I'm on isn't the best for my moods and I was wondering if you're if you are experiencing any side effects or how it's going for you and which birth control are you taking so for me i just want to say that i never thought that i would be taking birth control just because when i was younger i just made a decision i'm never going to take birth control because I didn't, I didn't need it you know and whether or not like you're someone that's for birth control or against it everyone's entitled to their opinion or whatever but for that's besides the point yeah, i feel like there's two sides like there's a lot of people that have an opinion that like mm -hmm. it's bad and like it caused a lot of things and then as many people that think that there's as many people on the other side that say like oh i helped them and this and that and we've read a lot of comments that it did help in yeah. a similar situation and a lot of people were like oh you should try natural remedies and stuff like mm. that but me personally i just decided to take the birth control and as you guys saw i was like oh i'm gonna change my diet which i kind of did at the beginning Both. but then i got comfortable at the end i was like oh well i'm feeling a little good and then but Not i'm gonna explain in the, that in the middle yeah <laughs> so this is the birth control that i'm taking and um it's the diane one i only i only have three pills left so i don't know if you can see it but one two three Everything said is basically, by the way, just our opinion. Yeah, it's just and my personal experience. This birth control NAC is taken doesn't mean it's right for you. Yeah. This is the one recommended by the gynecologist yeah, specifically. Yeah, I was prescribed that. And like... Don't go to the store and buy it. Like, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> I'm not... But yeah, so guys... Don't go to the pharmacy. Naka said to take Diane birth control for endometriosis. Who's sis, Diane? Sis. Like, I'm not friends with Diane. We're not... <laughs> I don't know her, but... For me, I'm gonna, in this video, it's just my experience. I'm not a professional. Mm. I'm not telling you to do this, this or that. I'm just going to be giving my opinion and I encourage you guys in the comment section to write your experience, you know? And we can all read the comments and like um, feed off of each other, but. I, I think as well, like too, like we're at the point where it's kind of like a roadblock, yeah. where it's a fork in the road and mm -hmm. it's like, you know what way what direction do we go mm -hmm. that was also why it was a perfect timing that this question came in in the dms because we can kind of discuss it because we're yeah. kind of going through the same thing mm -hmm. so so the birth control i'm already a moody person but it did heighten my moods by a thousand like i literally would spaz for absolutely no reason and i would cry for no reason and i would find myself just sitting on the couch and just staring in the abyss literally just dominic would be like are you okay like mate what's going on and he'd be like are you mate, happy like you're doing something then i walk by yeah i'm just like this and literally just <laughs> looking over and then I'm yeah like, and okay? i found what, what, yeah like, what do you think about like you sad like what's going on and it's not that i'm sad but it's just like I'm just there, you know, I found that I'm not like, usually I'm a happy, like super positive person, mm. but with the birth control, it kind of like dimmed me down a little, you know, it's just, and I felt it literally like the first couple days I took it, it's just, I was very like chill, like just. I, I saw a difference on the third day. Mm, really? Eh? From you, like I, I really saw like a difference after the third day, mm -hmm. but at the beginning when you were dieting, I think it was helping a lot yeah. with the ups and downs mm -hmm. in terms of like no sugar and like not basically no carbs and yeah. stuff like that, really eating very, very healthy. And then on the second week, basically when you start to get more loose on the dieting and yeah. the food, that's when you 
from my opinion, my perspective, I was able to see a lot more like ups and downs and mood swings and mm -hmm. like little things that usually wouldn't cause a blow up, cause the blow up mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And you, you've told me that you felt like kind of like numb. Yeah. And I would just get annoyed like really fast. And as soon as I got annoyed, I'd be like, okay, I'm over it. Like, I don't even want to talk. It's just, and I would sleep a lot more. More tired. And I was sure. very, like, tired. I would just want to sleep. And, guys, for me, I could take a, when I wasn't on birth control, I could take a nap in the morning and still sleep at night. I literally had to take sleeping pills because I could not sleep. And I was just like, what is this? Like, I, I'm someone that has no issues with sleeping, but I couldn't sleep at night. Mm. So, that was very scary because I love sleeping. But more, I see sleep as like to rest my body and this like I wasn't resting my body, right? So that was a problem. And also just, I, I just don't really feel like myself. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like when I get these snappy moments, it's like a... It takes over you. It takes over yeah. me and then I snap back and I'm like, why did I do that? Like that makes no sense, you know? So that's really what it is but i did notice like i it's like my mood is very like mm. i don't like that i'm not i don't get super excited for things you know it's like, like i do get excited but it's not like oh my god like that mm. like even when i'm talking now it's just really like yeah L literally today we had a discussion yeah and then there was a point where naka was like i don't want to take the birth control anymore mm -hmm. right and then it's like that's kind of where we're like at the fork in the road because it's like there's like basically three pills left, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, do not taking those three last pills, does it basically made it so you took the whole birth control for nothing? Yeah. Like how important are those three last pills? Are you gonna get like 80% of the potential results mm -hmm. of the pills in these last pills? Because mm -hmm. I think that like, the main reason for it of my understanding is that it helps, you know, prevent this one the ovulation, is, it's right? It's 21 tablets. It's not for yeah. 30 days. It's the 21 so tablets. So if it helps prevent or stop ovulation, the ovulation would ha it's happening like right, right now. Right now, yeah. So it's like if, if you stop it now, then are you like you still gonna ovulate? So then it's like all the other time you took it is like nothing. And it's weird because like I'm no birth control like it for it's supposed to like prevent. Well, it doesn't. I guess there's always like you know exceptions, but. It, it's supposed to make me not ovulate but i still get my ovulation symptoms like my breasts are very tender right now do you want to take um, a pregnancy test i wanted today? to say, <laughs> but i know it's impossible to be pregnant on birth control well it's not it impossible, impossible but yeah. well, and also like my skin i did get my little breakouts but you had more cravings yeah i had more cravings i was extremely moody so i think my mood swings it's I get like that when I'm ovulating. So, and I kept telling like Dominic, a combination yeah, and I kept telling Dominic, oh, I'm ovulating. That's why I'm like this. But it was like time stand. Yeah, I think you don't ovulate on. on no, the, pill, the doctor right? said so, I, I wasn't supposed to ovulate. But, but I, I saw this one too. That was interesting. Is that like I've seen pills before that it's like you got like seven or five or whatever or like one sugar pill, right? And then yeah. like it makes you have your period. But this one only has twenty one. But then isn't the period cycle my cycle 28. Is, is 28 days so yeah. it's like there's 21 pills so does that mean because usually the last seven days you have sugar pills to make you get yeah your period? i think so yeah I don't this know, is like, not supposed to prevent me from getting my period yeah yeah exactly that's yeah, why you have like the so, sugar pill to get your period yeah so i don't know, like let us know you guys like yeah. if you've had experience with uh birth control but we do have an appointment coming up as well too yeah so, so we're gonna see how my cyst is going so if my cyst does reduce in size i don't know if i'm gonna i, I guess keep taking the birth control well obviously i think I, I guess it depends what he would recommend yeah we if can let him know i mean if it did reduce then it means it's, it's working, working right yeah. like that's the thing now that like for example because of the side effects of the birth control like if you stop it and then like we go and like there was no size difference but then it's like if you didn't completely finish those yeah, three pills is it if. because of that mm -hmm. you know it's like i guess you gotta have to like kind of 100 percent do it and mm -hmm. then because we calculated yeah. and i i am ovulating this week and mm -hmm. mates after me and dominic do the the <laughs> dancing <laughs> um i actually like take my like residue you know my thing thing and i do like i look at my discharge and i'm like okay it's literally i'm ovulating so i was looking at it like the other night and i'm like dominic i'm ovulating like mm. i i know what my ovulation liquid looks like and i was like 
this birth control and I don't know means anyways but it's impossible for me to ovulate you know it's impossible for me to be pregnant well it's not impossible but it's like 0.0.1 percent hmm. you know so I don't know mates I we have a doctor's appointment this week so we're gonna see what he says but I would I wouldn't want to find out I'm pregnant at an ultrasound if you get yeah. what I mean you know what I mean like it's that not special like yeah yeah that wouldn't be ideal for me something up your private part and it's like oh you're pregnant oh yeah really? like, it's, it's not like yeah i don't think it's like emotionally prepare like right there and then i mean it's you, like kind of how like I would yeah i would the, like when you at the ultrasound telling me i'm having twins yeah, now yeah. that's a great news like, <laughs> that's what i want to hear when i go but like to tell me oh you're pregnant it's like oh yeah all right you know what i mean so but i know i'm not pregnant well, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, so for everyone asking me, I get so many DMs, so many people were worried. Don't take the birth control, don't take this. But at the end of the day, I wanted to try all my options before, you know, because what if, if the birth control it, was the cure? You yeah, know, what if, if you it's try done? One option mm -hmm. and it doesn't work, you can move on to the next, you know, but at least you crossed it off your list. Mm -hmm. But I'm grateful with the birth control. I'm just experiencing mild mood swings it could be worse mate my mood swings okay maybe heightened mood swings i feel especially i feel like it's been at least a week and you have you know like three more pills so almost the two last week like the first week maybe the first 10 days you know it was like but not i'm allowed. ovulating the last yeah, week so that's, like, the thing. that's the thing yeah. but like are you are you ovulating though Oh no, I right? can't. Yeah. So that's, that's why I'm true. a little confused. But like maybe this is when your body is like suppressing it. Yeah, I think or, like, so. Or like there's definitely some changes being made. Let us like, know made, if you're you know? a professional. Yeah. Because I get my periods every 28 Or if, days. if you're on birth control, if yeah. it's like if your mood at a certain time during the month or your cycle that like it changes or up and down or it should be consistent. Or maybe yeah. it was a diet changes. That maybe you, it was a diet because I started eating red meat again. And you know, red meat has all these hormones in yeah. it. So, but at the end, they, 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 there's three pills left, right? So yeah. I feel like we've gone this far. Might as that, well take it, mates. Yeah, and like even, you know, we've been through it in the past 10 days. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stick to it. Yeah. Like, like we're going to come together what for if these maybe, last three days. Maybe, what if they're like, oh, what if the cyst is like 60% small and the doctor's like, you have to take it for another month. Uh, we're going to tough it out. We're going to make the sacrifice. <laughs> But I'm a little yeah. better with recognizing my moods. I think the key mm -hmm. is when I feel snappy, I'm like, it's not that deep. I had a quite like, this is probably, I have a question for you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a lot of comments that we've seen that, you know, you took the birth control and it mm -hmm. helps you reduce ovarian cysts. Mm -hmm. um, how long did it take? Oh yeah, that's, that's a my good question, question yeah. right? Like we've seen a lot of comments of people, so I'm curious to see like, was it just for a month? Was it for multiple months? Mm -hmm. Or like, you know what I mean? And how is your period on birth control as well? Mm. That's something I'm curious to know. Like, are my cramps gonna get better? Because you know, obviously my cramps hurt because of the cyst. But now that I'm birth on birth control, I'm curious to see how my period is going to be. And that's mm. kind of why I don't want to not take it because I. I do want less painful periods, let's be honest, you know, my periods are just so excruciating painful and I'm supposed to have my period on our wedding week, so it's mm. just like, you know, I don't know, let me know how it is and I'm gonna keep you guys posted, hopefully my cyst shrinks you guys, I have been doing mm. natural remedies as well as um, taking birth control, like I'm doing everything, you know, so it's just guys keep hoping and praying that we get good news next I week. get good news which is something that's really weird that I've been experiencing like I've been getting like pain on my lower stomach like sometimes like I'll, I'll be chilling and it's like oh oh me mm -hmm. my lord you know like it's, it's weird sometimes yeah. I'm like oh did the sis burst <laughs> yeah oh what's going on but yeah guys yeah, yeah I'm so. kind of excited for the I'm not excited but I'm kind of like I'm looking forward to the update yeah, but see, we're like, gonna do a pregnancy test before we go because you know i don't want yeah. them to i'm I, you know i i know people i know a couple people yeah. that did get pregnant while they were on birth control yes yeah, so. but like that would that would be a blessing like i'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie it would it would be unexpected for sure yeah <laughs> it's something we haven't been thinking about and they say literally it happens. About it is what happens 
But I also read online that a tenderness of breast is a uh, birth control does that, right? Mm. So yeah, you never know. But anyways, guys, that is what I wanted to touch on for all of you guys wondering how I've been doing with the birth control. If I took it, yes, I did take it. I mentioned it in the in the previous video that I started taking it. So far, you know, I'm still here, mate. It's just it's making me very mellow, you know. Mm. I miss being super excited for things, for the small I things. Miss it. Yeah, I know you do. I just, I don't like being like monotone, mm. you know? Like, it's not me. Like, I'm someone that's super happy and excited. And with the birth control, it's just making me like, mm. Mm. So I, I, I just don't like that. I don't like having my emotions suppressed, you know? But for the sake of our children, I am sacrificing myself. And when we have children, I tell them, go get me the remote there. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I suffered to get you. And you can't even give me the remote that's <laughs> right beside me. So, you know, for our children and for my health, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice anything that I can. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and please let us know in the comment section below your experience with birth control, positive or negative. Please don't be mean to people that took birth control or that are taking it. Don't look down on me for taking it. Don't have a negative opinion for me to for taking it i'm not advertising birth control at all i'm just telling you guys what i'm going through so if you do have endometriosis or if you do have multiple cysts we're in this together you know like i want to let you guys know my experience if i can help one person reading this because i know how devastating it is to know that oh you have a cyst in your ovaries like it's horrible the doctor's telling you you're you may never get pregnant it's going to be hard for you to get pregnant and it has been extremely hard for us to get pregnant we've been trying but it's not happening you know so i do want to exhaust all of our um options mm. so thank you guys so much for all the positive comments you guys have been leaving for all the amazing dms like we really do our best to answer and to reply to as many comments as we can as well as if you're going through endometriosis trying to get pregnant feel free to dm me on instagram i do my best to answer as many people as i can so it's it's hard out here you know we're all having battles but at the end of the day we're gonna get through it mate so wishing you an amazing amazing day amazing night wherever you live mm. and we'll see you in the next video anything to add that was a, that was good that was yeah. a, a, a good uh, mm -hmm. we're all suffering and, mates. you know it, and like this is like the first month mm -hmm. of the birth control and our plan was to take it just for one month mm -hmm. and see right yeah. so we're gonna keep following the gynecologist's advice mm -hmm. and you know keep praying and mm -hmm. keep the diet i'm mm -hmm. i'm a support and i'm gonna be yes. on the diet together smash like button comment subscribe bye guys talk to you soon Toodaloo!